My name is Ben Deeb. I'm a science teacher in Southern California with a background in environmental science and geology. In this video I'm going to talk about the three types of convergent boundaries. Now a convergent boundary is where two plates meet and push against each other. Now there are three ways this can happen. The first is if you have an oceanic plate, usually that's underwater, pushing against a continental plate. That's one that's continents where land is. Um, when those push together, what almost always happens is the oceanic plate will subduct under the continental plate. Subduction is a process where one plate will go under the other. It'll usually get pushed back down into the mantle and be melted back into magma. Um, the landforms that are created here, often you'll have a lot of mountains forming on the continental plate as it gets pushed up by the oceanic plate. You'll also have a lot of volcanic activity happening on the continental plate right here. The second type of convergent boundary is when a continental plate pushes against another continental plate. Now, unlike the other two types, this actually does not cause subduction uh, because these are generally the same density. They will push against each other um, and they just kind of smash together and usually what happens is some uplift. So they'll smash up and you'll see some mountains created right here from the two of them being pushed together. It's another place you'll see a lot of volcanic activity. The third type of convergent boundary is where an oceanic plate and an oceanic plate will mix. Um, we have this drawn down here. This is the ocean, water on top, and the two plates, the land underneath the ocean, pushes together. Now this is a lot like the first example we saw because one of these oceanic plates will go under the other. And this will actually create a few different things. Sometimes you will have a trench created from them kind of pushing down and pushing each other down like that. You'll see an ocean trench. Um, other times you will see actually undersea mountains being formed. And there are actually more mountains underwater than there are above land. Um, but you will also see a lot of volcanic activity on the oceanic-oceanic convergent boundary as well. So the thing that all three of these types of convergent boundaries have in common is you will see volcanic activity along all of them. But the continental-continental convergent boundary is the only one where one does not subduct under the other. I'm Ben, and these are the three types of convergent boundaries.